this is the way we dress and the way we ride. Uh, these are our favorite bikes, and we dress the, the period, basically, in order to show people what things were like and, and the way these bikes were ridden and just give people a little slice of history. We like to give people history in places they don't necessarily expect it. When I tried on my first corset and I realized that I could breathe, <laughs> that it was comfortable, that I did not drop down dead, I started to wonder if everything I'd always been told about corsets was wrong, what else is wrong about other things people have told me about the Victorian era? And what else can I learn and can we learn by interacting with other items that were used on a daily basis back then? There were so many things coming out that really created the modern world. Bicycles, which had an influence on our modern roads. Uh, the telephone was coming out for the first time. Uh, it had super fast communication with the telegraph which in a lot of ways has been likened to the modern internet. So mine is a, it's what was called an ordinary bicycle. And it's the sort you've, that almost everyone has seen with a, the big front wheel and the small rear wheel. And these were common and popular from about 1878 until about 1890. And they were considered, they were extremely expensive. They were considered the, the fastest thing on the road. They certainly were the, the highest technology that you could have for personal transportation. I sort of think of it as the Ferrari of the day. They're not so hard to ride. The challenge is getting on and off. But once you're on it, the, the wheel is very large, and the larger the wheel, the slower speed you can balance it at. I can balance this at much slower speeds than a modern bike. This you can hang on a wall. It doesn't take up much space. These are very difficult to store, and they just took up too much space, and they were even more obsolete than these. I've ridden at 25 miles in one day. Uh, there were women in the 1880s who actually took these over the Alps, hundreds and hundreds of miles. Uh, they were, I, I take my hat off to them. <laughs> <laughs> Evaluate what is history and what are our choices in how we can live our lives. It doesn't have, we don't expect anybody else to live exactly the same way we do, but we like people to realize that we can make choices. We don't necessarily always have to buy just whatever the newest product is on the market. <laughs>